Hey you guys, Linwood here and today I'm going to show you how to do the Starfleet knot. So stay tuned and thumbs up if you like it. If you have not seen my last tie video, you can do so by clicking the I in the top right corner here. Um, just so you know, this image has been flipped for your viewing pleasure. So when I say right, it's also your right. And when I say left, it's also your left. The blade of my tie, which is the large end, is sitting right at about my belt line. And I am going to be doing majority of the tying with the tail of the tie. Now I'm going to begin this tie by placing my finger in the middle and uh, creating a power crease. You're just going to do so by placing in the middle and pinching from the outsides while slowly pulling that finger out. That's also referred to as a dimple quite frequently, which by the way, if you like videos like this and you like this content, please do uh, take a moment and subscribe and like this content, share it with a friend. From there, we're gonna go ahead and pass the tail end over the uh, blade and come around the back and up through the center like so. Now I want to adjust it, especially because I have a contrast tie, I'm going to adjust it some to where uh, the red shows a bit more because I want to ensure that my knot is all one color. So let's see, that puts me still right at about my belt line, just a little bit touching my belt. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take the tail end here and fold it in half with my smooth side facing the right, so it's facing towards the center. The rough edges are facing towards the outside. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, come in on the left side. I'm going to place my finger right on in there and wrap around. From there, I'm gonna place my middle finger there and wrap back the opposite direction. This is a little bit difficult, so I apologize, but just stick with me, okay? So here's what it's looking like from underneath, from the side, from the top. Hopefully you guys can see all of that. I'm gonna wrap around the back and we're just gonna come up and through the middle here. Now you can see my tail came unfolded. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pinch those two sides back together. I will tell you now, if you're one that has difficulty with my knots that have uh, the folding in half, on a regular basis, this is probably not the knot for you. However, if you are a Star Trek fan, uh, you may want to give it a shot anyway because, hello, it's the Starfleet knot. Like, why would you not want to do it? Okay, so you're going to go ahead and take the tail, keeping it folded. We're going to pass it down, slide it on under uh, this side here, and I'm going to take the tail and slide it through this loop. Just like that. So now that top portion is going to hold that side in place. I can slide that finger out. We're just going to go ahead and come around here, wrapping around the back like so. Okay. And instead of coming over this loop here, we're actually going to go through that loop. Just like so. All right, still want to make sure that my ends are nicely met up. So I'm going to go ahead and maneuver a bit. Let me see here. There we go. Okay. And then from there, I'm going to go ahead and pull this baby all the way up and bring it on back. Now, right now, it looks a hot mess. Bear with me. Okay, so once I have done that, I'm going to begin to lightly fan this out some just up top, very lightly. And there's a loop right back here that I'm going to insert the tip of the tail in. So we just place that tail right on through there and pull down. Now it's all in your adjustments. So I'm going to start off by pulling the back side really nice and snug. And I want to make sure that the top portion that we did underneath that is kind of tucked in there. I am going to then move this baby up. So I'm moving this portion up towards the top. And once I've done that, I'm going to give these sides a little bit of a tug and flatten it out here on the sides. So again, that's moving this up towards the top, just like so. Push it flat against the neck of, uh, or your neck. <laughs> and then from there, you're going to give these two loops here just a slight pull. 
and pull it on in there. Now I am noticing I would like to see it a little bit tighter so I'm going to go ahead and give it another tug here from the back to tighten up my top portion. And then we'll go ahead and continue working. So I'm seeing like right here it's a little loose. I still want to go ahead and manipulate that some just to make sure I have the right tension and everything. All right, now if you'll notice I've got it where it's buckling here. On that part, all you wanna do is just take the uh, corner and just lightly fold it and give it a slight tug in the back. I'm telling you, this knot is a little labor intensive, but I really love the outcome. From there, I'm gonna go ahead and fold this tie on down, hold onto my knot and push it up by holding onto the blade and just pulling up on the knot. <clears throat> and from there this is what we have so to me it looks very much like the starfleet uh, insignia that they wore on their shirts on star trek and then of course it has the little uh, bit that goes across there so for my star trek fans you've got the starfleet knot for my star wars fans and i hope i don't get too much hate for mentioning them both in the same video you have the trooper knot uh, for my photographers and my gamer fans, you've got the Aperture Knot. For uh, my fans of the Lord, um, you have the Resurrection Knot as well as my fans of the Trinity, the Resurrection Knot. Many people will call it a Triple Trinity or in Trinity. So hopefully I've got stuff to appeal to some of everybody. I know majority of my knots are complex. Um, I'm trying to do stuff that's simpler, but a lot of the simpler stuff has already been done. So of course, as always, let me know what you think in the comment box down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Know that I greatly appreciate you. And if you have any comments, suggestions, concerns, or requests, please put them down below for me. Uh, of course, until next time, take care, God bless, and as always, you are fancy now. Bye-bye.